So what are you seeing as uh, what's moving s- still like sitting on the inventory or days on market longer? Is it condos? condos? Oh, condos. It's condos. Okay. Uh, so condo market's completely stalled. Is it and the one bedroom, two bedroom, all, all bedroom? Basically condos. all condos and, and things like that. Um, you know, compared to single family homes, the inventory is completely different. There's a ton of inventory for condos where single family, there's limited inventory in Hawaii. And that's why single families, they're still selling because you know, there's not much competition for it, right? Where condos, there's a lot of condos on the market, right? And now not enough buyers, because usually first time home buyers are gonna buy condos, right? Right. And the ones affected most by the interest rates are the first time home buyers, right? Right. So now they can't even buy like, these condos. And with the Maui fires and the insurance claims of those fires, it's affecting the HOA prices here in Honolulu, uh, Oahu. But like, why is that? Because it's the same insurance companies? Well, every condo has a master policy, master insurance policy, right? And all those rates went up because all insurance carriers now, like, you know, the risk is more now with all the disasters, not just in Hawaii, it's it's all nationwide, right? Okay. In California, the fires, you know, floods, hurricanes, all of that affects insurance everywhere, right? right? Even your auto insurance. Right. Even if it's not your own state, it still affects it, right? right. So because of all the disasters, like a lot of companies are becoming more risk averse and, and they're increasing all the rates. Right. In addition to the inflation as well. So right. And then you got inflation on top of it. So HOAs have increased a lot. So right. Because anything that, da- like if your elevator breaks, the parts are going to be more expensive. Everything. The yeah. labor is more expensive. Mm-hmm. Contractors are more expensive. Everything's more expensive. So what are you seeing is like the average or the price range for an HOA for a condo? I mean, it depends where you're at, but Waikiki, you know, it's about $800 a month. $800 so, a month. Right. That's, that's like, if you, if you see under a thousand, you're, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it depends also because it's by square footage, right? Right. So I would say like, if you see a one bedroom, under a thousand, that's that's pretty common. But a two bedroom under a thousand, that's that's like juicy. <laughs> that's really nice because usually two bedrooms have like at least a thousand square feet, right? Yeah, yeah. And and that's gonna be expensive. Usually about over a thousand for the HOA. So if you see one under a thousand, that's two bedroom. Oh, that's that looks really good. And of course, you gotta see what's included in the HOA because some include electricity, some central AC, some internet, and then some nothing. Yeah. So well, that's another thing you have right. to you right. know, really look at it, things like that. And then also about their master insurance. Some of them don't have 100% flood insurance now, and that's um, causing problems with the loan. Yeah, that's super. Um, yeah. That's so there's a lot of problems for first time home buyers right now, you know, but we have lenders that can get around the insurance thing. So that's not too big of, of a hurdle. It's it's more of can you afford it comfortably, correct? Because I never want to want my clients to overextend themselves. So that we do the numbers. We make sure, hey, you can pay this comfortably because we can never guarantee that the rates will go down. Right. Like, what we, happens if it stays 7%? We can take an educated right. guess and we think it will, right. but I can't promise you that. Right, right, right. So if you can do it comfortably, then yeah, you buy now. Right. And then you'll be even more comfortable when the rates go down, right. things like that. But if you're like at the very tip and you need the rates to go down or you're going to lose your home, no, no, no. Don't buy. No. <laughs> then you, you sit out, you wait until... Yeah. Either you're in a better situation or the rates are in a better situation. And the reason why people are buying now is because they know they're getting a discounted rate and they're not competing against multiple offers, right? So, so that's a huge win if you can if you can buy it now, right? Because like when the market does go up, when the rates go down, you have all these people on the sidelines, they're just waiting. Mm-hmm. They're just waiting. So as soon as you get to six, people are gonna jump in and now you're gonna have competition now you're gonna have above asking offers and the price, what that ha- what that does, the prices will go up. Right. So right. now you're, you're the, the property that you could have got at a discount, now you're gonna to have to kind of overpay again for it and things right. like that. So it really is, um, if you're ready. It's a good time. It's a good time because you have less competition. Yeah. You can negotiate with the sellers more, uh, more effectively, right? Right, you can change your rates anytime. You're not gonna be able to change the price at home, you know. With you, you know, it's gonna go up if the rates go down. So right. 